Hey folks, hope you missed me, because I know I missed you. Um, today, I'm going to show you what Via Reggio looks like for an Italian carnival, and then I'm going to show you the Bologna History Museum. So, I hope you're ready for it. Welcome to a Texan in Bologna. Alright, so I went to Via Reggio, which is a small town on the coast in Tuscany, and it's known for its floats, its um, carnival celebration with its floats. And uh, the most important carnival celebration or Mardi Gras celebration in Italy is in Venice. And I did not go there because we were told that it's super touristy. Honestly, I still don't know what it's like. It could be very, very traditional. It could be very drunk and goofy. No idea. But we chose Via Reggio, and um, I, it, it was definitely a good choice. Um, it's a, you could see these, like how awesome the coast looks. It's a small fishing village. Not sure how much fishing is still done there. We saw quite a few yachts. The floats here kick the corn out of New Orleans. Uh, they're all handmade out of paper mache, and they're all hand. Op Most of them are hand operated. Like all the movement is done by people in the cars, not machines. And instead of an American parade where the floats will all go by one time, everyone gets to see them, and it's they're throwing stuff at you. They go around in a loop, a constant loop. And there's a large space between each one, and so it, this could go on for about six hours. And it's, it, I guess it's more like a festival atmosphere. They're going around, you're eating, walking by, seeing the same floats over again, dancing in the street. They're catching some candy if they throw it at you, maybe throwing something at them, buying confetti and throwing it everywhere. And so uh, I'm going to show you, here's a few of the coolest carts. There, there was a lot of um, floats that, that were, basically all of them were amazing. And I, I can't show you them all, but here's most of them. Most of the floats were political in nature and typically about European politics. And being here, we've been here for a little bit, so I would say we understood most of it. A lot of it was about the new Prime Minister of Italy, Monti, Mario Monti, and um, basically other people in the European Union. There was one with Obama, and here he is right here, dressed up as a Pope or Cardinal. <laughs> Gotcha. So Carnival of Via Reggio was definitely worth it, and it was really cool to see how Mardi Gras goes down in another country, especially a country that's also known for their Mardi Gras celebration. Yeah, I'm not talking about you, Brazil. Second, I went to the Bologna History Museum with my urbanism course. So it was really cool. It's um, It just opened this month, and so they've got free access right now, and I was actually super impressed in a country full of museums, this was a very, very impressive museum. 
Um, there was all kinds of stuff. It, it was a chronological museum, of Bologna from the start of the city with the Etruscans up until present day. We've got various goods here. You might recognize this piazza from another video of mine. Here's a map of the city with all of the old towers that used to be in it. Most of them are gone now. Here are some of these towers. Here's the man that outlawed slavery in Bologna in like the year 1100 something. Yeah, this is like a serfdom slavery, not American style slavery. Here's uh, the patron saint of the city holding the city, which I think is a really cool image, and I wish I could see some of that in America. Where's the patron saint of Houston? So I hope that gave you guys an insight into what's going on in my life here. I miss y'all. Hope you're having a great week, and I will see you again relatively soon. <laughs> Love y'all.